A new mysterious OpenAI model, GPT-2 chatbot, has appeared on LMSYS leaderboard arena and I decided to test it out just to make sure understand what is that model. There are some speculations that this could be a new open source model from OpenAI and there are some speculations that this could be GPT-4.5 or GPT-5. Let me give you the spoiler at the start. This model does not look like anything other than GPT-4 at this point and I could be completely wrong. But still, there is no harm in testing a new model. The first question, as you can see, I just asked a really vague random question. Define gravity in such a way that you are making biryani. I watched Interstellar, so gravity, and I love biryani, so biryani. And as you can see, Claude 3 Opus has got a lot of emoticons as usual. They think somehow using emoticons would connect with human beings probably a lot of millennial text in the training data but either way you can see that a gpt2 chatbot probably is not from anthropic i mean i just had a doubt if somebody is playing a prank we still do not know if it is actually from open ai probably it is from open ai so what else could gpt2 chatbot be let's explore further why don't we simply ask the same question to this particular chatbot so i'm going to ask what is your name and who are you and see what this chatbot is going to respond back. Technically, this is not a good idea to understand who it is, but this is also part of their training data. So who are you and what is your name? I've selected two models, GPT-2 chatbot and GPT-4-1106 preview. So for the GPT-2 chatbot, it says I am ChatGPT, a language model created by OpenAI. I'm here to answer, help answer your question, provide information, assist with a variety of tasks. Just let me know what you need help with. And this response is slightly different from what the GPT-4 response is. And you need to understand that this is not GPT-4 Turbo. This is just GPT-4 I've got on my right hand side. So one of the famous questions that people are asking these LLMs is to say how many R's are there in Blueberry. As a human, it is fairly simple and easier for you to understand. But for LLMs, it is fairly difficult because LLMs work based on tokenizing. And tokenized word or token is the fundamental unit of LLM. So most of the LLMs make mistake. And as you can see on the right hand side, GPT-4 has made a mistake. While the GPT-2 chatbot has made it absolutely right that there are only two R's in Blueberry. This is one response that got me thinking if this model is different from GPT-4 or any other open AI model that we have got because it has got a better understanding about how to split the word into individual letters and correctly identify the spelling of it and then point out the number of characters in it. See, this is not AGI. This is not like mind blowingly leap forward from whatever model is. So this also indicates that the next model could not be like completely extremely out of box or out of the world. Understand if the model has got latest information and if the knowledge cutoff is different, I asked it about Gemini. But unfortunately, I did not mention it Google Gemini and both the GPT-4 and GPT-2 chatbot model started thinking that I'm talking about a totally different Gemini. I mean, it is bad on my side that I'm not specifying. So it started thinking that I'm talking about zodiac signs and GPT-4 while outright denied that it is not going to give me any information about zodiac sign because it does not have the capacity to feel the emotions. I don't know why you have to feel the emotions to talk about zodiac sign but anyways but this model is not that restrictive and it is going to give me the answer to say okay what is to do with this zodiac sign which is completely irrelevant to whatever i asked which is a human mistake that i have made for the next question once again i decided to play with the word blueberry but in this time i wanted it to reverse the word this is a very common thing if you use a chat gpt plus subscription technically chat gpt plus would use advanced data analysis or code interpreter to do this thing because it's very fairly simple and easy to do with python but in this case as you can see here the models do a pretty good job of reversing blueberry so you can see literally the characters are reversed and uh, there is nothing wrong with this and uh, you can see the first model is Claude 3 and the second model is GPT-2 chatbot. GPT-2 chatbot only thing is it added an underscore which I started wondering maybe if it is part of the training data information whenever you are being asked to reverse something. And then I asked a follow up question why did you add an underscore and I didn't say underscore I just like mentioned the symbol 
and then it started saying that okay i shouldn't have added underscore at least on the right hand side if you focus and it started adding a space i don't know why it added a space it just literally replaced the underscore with nothing like space and um, it was um, it was funny and uh, it also said oh, thank you for catching that so maybe i should be happy that i've been appreciated by ai while not being appreciated by human beings anyways i asked a question now we are getting into the meat of the discussion which is are you better than gpt 3.5 here what i expected is to actually tell me what is the version that it is so it actually says that it is better than gpt 5 and it gives me variety of reasons of why it is better than gpt 5 but the biggest twist that you would see is that it is better than gpt 5 but it is referring to itself as a model based on gpt 4 and this is where my question also relies while this model i find really superior to the open or the free version of a uh, chat gpt 3.5 and while i felt this model has lesser restrictions than gpt 4 i am still not sure if it is a completely different model than gpt 4 so either this model could be something like gpt 4.5 or gpt 5 but you can see that the cutoff date it says according to it it is 2023 and uh, it does a pretty good job in rest of the other areas that it actually promises that it is good at understanding text handling complex instructions fewer biases and errors more knowledgeable better at conversation which i honestly felt that it is better at conversation coincidentally when this exact model has appeared open ai also announced memory option or a long term memory option for chat gpt plus i don't think that has anything to do with this or probably i could be wrong again i just asked why did you compare yourself with gpt4 and why are you better and it apologized uh, at this point i think i'm slightly unhappy whenever ea i apologize to me but um, anyways yeah i'm happy instead of them abusing they are at least apologizing so it says i am based on gpt4 architecture it still did not say that i am gpt4 it says i am based on gpt4 architecture so i am not sure what is open ai cooking here but they are definitely cooking something and they have got some kind of variation of gpt4 this is and if this is exactly what gpt4.5 is then gpt4.5 is not going to mind blowingly change anything that you have been thinking that the next version of open ai model might change People have some speculations whether this could be an open model that open AI could be open sourcing. I honestly don't think that they would be open sourcing a GPT-4 level model. So it again clarifies that it is not GPT-4.5. So it would be accurate to call it GPT-4. So it has capabilities of GPT-4 and all the other things. So it seems like this is based on GPT-4. I don't think this is GPT-4.5. And I don't think, honestly, Sam Altman, I don't think they're going to open source GPT-4 level model, even though there are a lot of open models that are available at this point that can reach uh, certain capabilities. But either way, this mysterious model has been put under a lot of tests. A lot of interesting insights are coming out of it. If you happen to try out this model, let me know in the comment section what you feel. I'll link the LMSYS leaderboard arena in the YouTube description so you can go ahead, play with this particular model. You might hit rate limit if you hit rate limit just open it in incognito or refresh the browser and you should be able to successfully have one conversation at least see you in another video happy prompting